And today we'll be drawing orthographic blue, three view orthographic blue. So with this three view orthographic blue, this is your first, first orthographic drawing. Um, just a reminder that with uh, orthographic drawing, we're drawing the front view, the top view, and the right side view, and they all align with each other on your piece of paper. And you'll see that here in a moment. So what you need to start is you'll need your title block. So if you haven't drawn a title block, refer to the first video on how to draw a title block. And it should be titled Ortho Blue. You will need, of course, a T-square, a table with, you know, a flat edge, straight edge here. You need to have a set square, like so, 45, 45, 90, or 30, 60, 90, plus uh, a ruler, a pencil, a white eraser, access to a pencil sharpener, some masking tape, and of course the guide for drawing ortho blue. You should have all that available. Plus I also have a scrap piece of paper for dulling my pencil at a later time. So that should all be on your table. So to begin, what you're gonna do is rip off approximately a 10 centimeter piece of tape Rip that into four pieces, one, two, and then just put those here because we're gonna need those right away. Now to line up your piece of paper to the T-square, we wanna just lift up the edges and then just drag that down. Now, I normally would actually come down here to draft because it's more comfortable, but because I have a document camera above me, I need to, to go up here, so I'm just gonna line that up to some marks I've got, lift up the edge of the paper, bring that down, and then drop it. Then you're gonna take your tape and tape down the top of the top corners, nice and tight. And then take your T-square away, bring this down, and tape the bottom. So we have a title block, and now we're gonna start with our first orthographic drawing. So on your guide, it tells you that you need to measure over, you can see it above here, you need to measure over 60 millimeters and then 30 millimeters up for a starting point, which is right here. So we're gonna measure over on this bottom line or the top of the title block, 60, and we're gonna draw a line straight up. Then we're gonna measure on that line 30 millimeters up and draw a line across. Very light, we're using construction lines, remember. So for that, we'll just bring our T-square up. Actually, we don't need T-square yet. Scratch that out. Let's put our ruler on zero on the edge of the title block and make a mark on six. Very light. Now we can bring our title, our T-square up set the set square on top of the T-square and draw a very light line going up almost to the top of the page. Now that's actually one of the lines of your drawing. Now we're going to draw, make a mark three centimeters up and we're gonna take and drop that on there and make a very light line to the right. Now this is our starting point, our starting lines, I guess, the vertical and the horizontal. The next thing we're going to do, if you look on this CAD drawing, is we're gonna take and we're gonna draw this line and we're gonna draw it all the way across because it happens to be the top of two drawings. After that horizontal line, we can do this line and this line, and this is 30 millimeters apart, and this is 40. Now, normally I would take the measurements right from the block and I can double check that, let's do that now. The height of this is 50 millimeters. So that's where I'm gonna be drawing, I'm gonna go up 50 millimeters and draw across. This is 30 because it says it's 30. And then this is the top, so that's the front and then the top. So I'm gonna measure that and that's 40, 40 up. Now for the first drawing I do give you the measurements <clears throat> on the guide. But generally, as we go further, we're gonna take and we're gonna actually measure the blocks because I'm not gonna give you a guide for every single one. Once you know the process, then you can go ahead and, uh, 
and draw all of the three required blocks, the blue, the yellow, and the gray. Those are the required drawings. So let's continue our orthographic drawing by drawing 50 millimeters up from this bottom line or five centimeters, same thing. And we're gonna take and just very lightly draw that line across almost to the end, not quite. I have a 30 millimeter space or three centimeters and I'm gonna make another line while I'm up here at 40 or four centimeters. And this is gonna be my top view. Now this doesn't have to go across. It's just the top, it's not, there's not another drawing here. So we're just gonna go approximately to there and approximately to the same spot. So I have partially the, the front view, the top view and the right side view. Now I need to know, if you look on this drawing right here, I need to know how far to go from this point over. So I'm going to go 79 millimeters and I can double check that. Yeah, this block is 79. So on this bottom mark, on this bottom line, this horizontal line, I'm going to mark 79. So that's 7.9 centimeters. And I'm going to draw that line all the way to that top horizontal line, not the border. We're going to draw it up to there. So starting here, now we see that our, our start and stop points. In fact, I really didn't have to draw through there, uh, but that's all going to get erased later. Remember, we're drawing extremely light, so that can get erased later. And now, so I've got my front view and my top view. Now I'm going to finish that right side view. So that's going to go right here. I'm 30 millimeters apart, and then I can do my vertical and then this measurement is going to be right like that so if i take this on here i can i can see that 40 millimeters and that is the same as this just like that so this block the orientation is front top and then right side now if you can see here when i you can see the blue coming off of this. You never want to place this on your drawing because you don't want to mess up your drawing. Okay, that's why I had that sheet of paper there. So the space is 30 millimeters or three centimeters away. And then another 40 or four centimeters. And we can proceed to draw from the bottom horizontal to the top. So just like this. And over here, we'll do the same. Oh, make sure we, I'm always going back to my T-square every time and I'm always making sure it's tight against the edge of the table. And then I pin down my set square and then do the drawing. And there you have it, we have the three views. Now I'm just gonna take and just erase some of the extra lines to show you distinctly what those views are. When you're erasing, generally, if you erase, and I'm gonna hold the paper because I don't want it to come out of the uh, tape, but I erase from the edge of the line up until the point because you can see yourself getting closer and closer and closer to the point. So you'd start in the middle and you'd start working your way to the point, to, or to the corner in that case. And here you can see, I'm just gonna erase until I'm at that corner and get as close as you can, but you don't wanna erase that point because you need that point when we wait in our lines. So if I just very carefully, with a white eraser, take away those lines. And you can see all the eraser bits, the remnants, all this stuff here, that has to be, don't tell my wife I'm gonna sweep it on the floor. There we go. We'll sweep the floor after we're done. Same in the same in the drafting room. You you want to do that because remember you don't want to blow because you're gonna spit. Maybe the first time you won't, but the second time you're gonna get some wet wetness on your paper. You don't want to rub or you don't want to sorry. Yeah, I guess rub. Brush it off with your hand. Your hands could be dirty. Plus you you're you're pushing that lead and you're gonna smudge your drawing. 
don't want to do that either. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw what's called guidelines. Now we did guidelines for our title. We're going to do the same for our drawings. Now according to our sheet, the guidelines are three millimeters down from the drawing. So from the bottom of the top view, we're going to go three millimeters down. One, two, three. And then we're going to go another four. One, two, three, four. Same over down here. One, two, three. And one, two, three, four. And simply take extremely the lightest lines that you can draw, but still see. Because that's where you're going to put your letters. Your top view, your front view, and then of course over here, a little bit longer because it's a longer word. Three words actually. Mm -hmm. Just like that. And done. So, for our lettering, we're going to take our scrap piece of paper and I'm going to put, now this is a CAD view, but you can see that I want to put top view, front view, right side view. We're abbreviating the right. So, with top view, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces divided by two equals four. With front view, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten divided by two is five. With right side view, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen divided by two is six point five. So these are the important numbers we need to know for centering. My pencil is a bit dull. Remember when you uh, do your lettering. You want your pencil to be the right thickness or sharpness, I guess. And this is it. This is your, your only chance to do lettering. So good luck. Again, get comfortable. This is very not comfortable for me, but we'll try. From the, oh, and remember, you can always put a scrap piece of paper up here like so. Now I don't want my hand on that part. I'm going to try to get my hand over in this clean part of the paper because I don't want to get uh, lead on my hand. So if we put our paper here, then we won't smudge with our hand. So starting from the middle, four over, one, two, three, four. That's where I can put top view. Four millimeter lettering, straight backbones. Use your guides right from the top to the bottom. And let's do front view. And that's five for that one. One, two, three, four, five. F. R. Now you don't want to press so hard that when you erase it, you still see indents in your paper, but you want to have it a nice medium weight. And of course, right side view, which is 6.5. One, two, three, four, five, 6.5. Right side view. Now that one didn't quite center very nice. Went a little bit wide here. See how far I am here? But it's relatively good. These centered very nicely. Now the drawing is almost complete. What we need to do next is we need to wait in our lines. Now while I was writing, I actually dulled the pencil a little bit, enough that it's going to make some nice object lines with that thickness of my pencil. And then I'm going to dull it more for my border and title block. When I waiten, I like to push the pencil because I'm right handed and I can see my start and my end points. So make sure you can see your start points. If you can't, some drafts people will place the pencil on the point and then slide the T-square until they hit that and just very lightly. And then you know that that's your start point. And then you can begin by pushing your pencil to weight in your line and turning and twisting it to maintain that, to, to basically not to bevel the edge of your pencil. So we'll do that for all our horizontal lines. All of those horizontal lines, make sure you can see before you start. Oh, 
See how I went up and around? I wasn't pushing down against the T-square. I'm just gonna erase that. Hopefully I can erase it. The darker your line, the harder it is to erase. So there's a little bit of a lesson. You don't really wanna mess up when you're doing your whitening because you can't erase it that easily. But this is our first drawing, so we're just learning. Again, place your pencil on that start point, turn and go to that end point, and do all of your horizontals at the same time. On your, These are called object lines because we are weightening the object. Okay, now that's done, we can go ahead and take our set square. Remember your left hand is always keeping that T-square against until you need your hand to hold down your set square. And then we can go ahead. We want to really aim for nice, neat corners. We want to make we want to make it look like a computer did this. To mo and this this is possible. And There we go. The object lines have been weightened. That's, that's about the uh, thickness of the line that I want. Now we're gonna take our scrap piece of paper and we're gonna start dulling our pencil. Again, about a 180 or a 220 paper sand, grit sandpaper works very nice for dulling your pencil. If you get it too coarse, it just takes it away too quickly. And after I've dulled it a bit, I just take and draw a line to see if I'm at the proper thickness. And I am. So we'll begin weightening your border and tie block. I gotta kinda put my head over here to see my start and stop points. Again, important to do a nice thick line while rolling your pencil. Normally we'd actually get a softer lead for doing our border and tie block because it allows, um, it allows us to have a nice thick heavy line. So again, I'm just going to do all my horizontals. And you want to try to go right over top of your other line because you don't want double lines in drafting. It makes it look sloppy. So we are trying to be as clean as possible, as neat as possible. Everything wants to be fairly the same for line weights for your border and title block. So if you find that your pencil is getting too dark, then you can sharpen it and re-dull re it to the point where it's the same. But for these lines, well, we're going to be fine. There might be a bit of different in thick, different uh, thickness in your weights, in your line weights, but not much. You're going to have to flip your um, set square. Sometimes I'll just wipe the edge. Make sure I don't then wipe my fingers on my draft. And there it is, a masterpiece. I think it's good anyways, and I'm the teacher, so I get to say that. When you're rolling off your tape, remember to roll it away from your draft and just throw that tape out. It kind of gets dirty. And there you have it, a finished orthographic three view drawing. Congratulations on your first drawing. It's, it's amazing. Have a good day. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in lesson two.